Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and this is Swordmaster VR. Uh, this was developed by one guy, and he actually contacted me on Reddit because he knew my videos. He wanted me to get into the beta and test out the game before it releases tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing right now. Since my PC is shit, I'm actually playing a special low graphics version of the game that he sent me specifically. And it's going to look quite a bit better than this when you're actually playing if your PC can properly run virtual reality games. So here we have a whole bunch of different difficulty levels. I'm going to jump into novice, I guess, since I've barely been in here. Um, where do I pick the sword? Oh yeah, 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 I remember. Alright, let's go to level 1. And... Oh, oh. oh, I didn't want this, I wanted a smaller sword. Oh, whatever. Now see, this isn't physics-based, like a lot of other sword fighting games on the Vive. It's all based on, like, reactions from the enemy. Like, you see when I swing, he tries to get the shield in the way there. Or blocks with the sword. And if you hit him in the armor, like his helmet or his shoulders or his gauntlets, it doesn't actually deal damage. You gotta get him around the middle where he's got no armor. He's trying to dance out of range there. This platform on the ground is how much room I have to move around without hitting my walls. Ow, shit. Hit there. Ah, got him in the leg. Nice. Okay, where'd this come from? One left. Where are you coming from? I'm going to try to take him out with the little sword. Keeps going around in circles. I'm going to get all tangled up in the wire. Like an AT AT. I'm cheating. <laughs> One more hit should do it. That shield in the way. Now this one has armor on his chest too, so I really gotta aim for the legs and hips. Oh shit. Tiny bit of health left. trigger to continue. So let's go on to level two. And let me pick the sword that I actually wanted to use here. Okay, combat nice. Uh eight those. You know, I haven't tried this yet. Wait, what was the what was the bonuses on this one? Okay. Yeah. 
critical damage. No stabbing. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow, that was nice. That was a really good hit. That's another thing to prevent people from just fighting by wiggling the controller. You gotta hit with a certain speed or it has no effect. Too away. This sir doesn't have much stabbing. Or else I try going for his little neck hole there. Did he get anything? Huh. Let's try going under his arm when he swings. I'm probably going to take a hit here. Come on. Too much armor. I really only get his legs. Fucking hell. the drums on your shield. How do you like that, huh? How do you like that, bitch? Shit, took that hit right there. Keep dancing outside of out of my area here. Oh! Oh, that's real nice. Well, this gives me a chance to show you a uh, kind of cool feature about this game. When you die, the enemy freezes like this. And you can actually still, <laughs> it doesn't freeze, just moves really slowly. And you can actually still strike him and see exactly where are effective hit points on the enemy. Like if I hit the sword, you hear the clanging. 
him with the shield and his armor. And so you gotta go see if you hit the leg. You hear the fleshy squish and see the blood coming out. Same thing if you move here and you kind of hit him in the uh, axe area. Oh yeah, the serpent stab. So you hear the squishing. So it's a good way to figure out exactly where you can hit your enemy when you die. So let's try that one more time. With a different blade. Yeah. Speed is king in this game. You gotta get in there fast and be precise. knife it does a lot of damage we have to be really precise with it oh right in the neck too far away I'm gonna hit the wall if I try that that shield right up in my face under the arm nice Oh, no. oh. oh shit, wait. Oh, there's two of them. Swords, but swinging swords is more fun. So let's try level three. I've never beaten level three before. What should I bring? You know what? I think I'm gonna bring a katana. Then I'm gonna put my other controller in my pocket and wield it in two hands as one is supposed to. Why this other sword's always in here in the way that's tempting to put it out and use it. Oh, 
fuck. Nothing we could do. I'm not used to fighting two guys yet. Uh. Alright. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into survival mode. Because I've never tried this before. And I'm gonna see how long I can live. And you know what, I think I'm gonna take this. And I'm getting a phone call, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. This is a really fun game. I just got to get good at it. So have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.